Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to discuss something called sarcomerogenesis. That's a really complicated way of saying the synthesis of new sarcomeres, which of course is something that occurs in skeletal muscle, and as we'll see in the next video, cardiac muscle as well, and that can actually lead to some implications in either cardiac adaptations to exercise or even pathologies. So join us then. Now sarcomerogenesis is something that occurs with two different mechanisms and those are sarcomeres in parallel and sarcomeres in series. So what we're talking about here is the addition of new sarcomeres, or in one case we'll actually see the removal of sarcomeres. Okay? So let's start by looking at case number one right here. This is a normal, untrained skeletal muscle fiber, and each one of these squares represents a sarcomere, and obviously we've got many, many more sarcomeres than this. This is just an abstract picture here so you can understand the concept. So here we've got three sarcomeres, okay? And let's suppose we perform some resistance training to get some more strength. So normally when you're focusing on strength and resistance training, you're going to be using high load, low repetitions. Well, obviously if you do a strength training program, you should get stronger, meaning your muscles should be able to generate more force. So how does that happen? Well, usually to get more force, you have to have more sarcomeres. And sarcomeres can either be added in one of two ways. They could be either added in this direction, so in series. In other words, if I added a sarcomere like this, that would be in series, okay? But instead, usually with uh, resistance training programs that give you low repetitions, high load, you get sarcomeres in parallel like this. So what does added in parallel mean? Well, suppose I start like this. So this is what I originally have, right? So this is a, a column of sarcomeres that are going parallel to the long axis of the muscle, right? The length of the muscle. Well, I can add more columns parallel to this initial column, right? So I've added two more of those. And so I now have one column right here, another one right here, and a third one right here. So I've added sarcomeres in parallel. So this kind of adaptation is, like I said, something that will normally occur in a strength training program, and it results in increased force output by the muscle fiber, and so the amount of torque that that muscle can generate increases. And I kind of put that right here with the uh, thicker arrows to denote that when you add sarcomeres in parallel, that tends to mean you're going to be able to generate more force. And considering that a strength training program should give you increased strength, increased ability to generate more force, this is what we would expect, and this is what is observed um, in sarcomerogenesis following a resistance training strength program. Okay? So that's sarcomeres in parallel. And the key thing to really understand about this is that this arrangement can generate more force than the initial setup we had, okay? more force. Adding sarcomeres in series is adding the sarcomeres in the same axis. So instead of adding them in a column parallel, you just add them in the same axis like this. Okay, So hopefully that makes sense. And we get something that looks like this over here. Generally speaking, when you add sarcomeres in series, it's going to result in a muscle contraction at a higher velocity. So the muscle is going to be able to contract a lot faster. Also, it's going to have a greater shortening capacity. So it's going to be able to shorten more than it would be if it had the original arrangement right here. In other words, case number three will be able to shorten more, it'll be able to contract further than it would if you had case number one. However, we don't see any increase in force with sarcomeres added in series. It doesn't affect the force output. Only parallel arrangements or sarcomeres in parallel increases force output. But in series, we get increased contraction velocity and shortening capacity. Now, what's a case where we might see sarcomeres added in series? Well, if we have sarcomeres added in series, that could be simply a case where we have a muscle that's been chronically uh, immobilized in a lengthened position. Okay? Um, so, if, for example, if you have some kind of surgery and you have to have your uh, a limb immobilized, and so if a limb was immobilized in such a position that a muscle, let's say, was chronically lengthened, well, then that muscle is going to adapt by increasing the number of sarcomeres in series to counteract that increase in length. Okay? 
Another case where you might see some sarcomeres added in series is if you're performing power exercises in resistance training. So we know that power actually results in an increase in contraction velocity. You may actually get some added in series in those cases as well. Also, if you just do a simple flexibility type of program where you're lengthening your muscles, you can also get sarcomeres added in series in that way. In contrast, if for example you immobilized a limb in a position where a muscle was chronically shortened, the opposite's going to happen. So in that case, you would actually have sarcomeres removed in series, and you'd end up with less in that series or in that column. Um, and that's actually going to result in lowered contraction velocity and lowered shortening capacity. But if we have a lengthened muscle or we're doing some kind of power type of resistance training program, we'll see them lengthened in series like this. Sarcomeres added in parallel is going to give you more force. Sarcomeres added in series is going to give you more contraction velocity, a faster contraction, and greater shortening capacity. Okay? So hopefully this made sense to you, and we're going to use this concept in the next video and talk about a basic mechanism for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is a pathology of the heart where the where the heart muscle itself enlarges. In fact, the common name for this condition is an enlarged heart, and it's a very bad thing. We're going to talk about what causes it, and also uh, the mechanism with sarcomeres added in parallel versus in series. So, hopefully this video made sense to you. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.